My name is Tamalini Jodhilingam, and I work as the Digital Asset Archivist for the South Asian Canadian Digital Archive. I want to respectfully acknowledge that the University of the Fraser Valley is located on the traditional lands of the Stolo, the people of the river. As a guest, I'm grateful for the opportunity to live, work, and learn together on this unceded and ancestral territory. The South Asian Canadian Digital Archive SACTA is an initiative of the South Asian Studies Institute at the University of the Fraser Valley. You can access the archive at sacta.ca. It's a pan-Canadian digital archive that documents the history and heritage of the South Asian diaspora in Canada. We partner with memory institutions, individuals, families, and community organizations to digitize, describe, and provide online public access to heritage materials created by or relevant to the South Asian Canadian diaspora. Archiving South Asian Canadian communities requires contextualization of the long histories and lands from which they originate and in evolving social, political, and economic contexts, both regional and global. The concept of clustering these communities into a regional framework of South Asia or South Asians has deep colonial roots to the empire, to the first multinational companies, mercantile and colonial domination, the violence of centuries of colonization by European powers, including the creation of new nation states and borders as the direct and indirect result of colonial rule. The South Asian region and the countries therein have a complicated and long connection with Canada. The history of colonialism and coloniality that connects these two geographies through the thread of the British Empire still lingers in spectral forms. In particular, the migrations from the jewel of the empire, India, and the experimental colony, Ceylon, Sri Lanka. From the early South Asian migrations to Canada to present from the arrival of the Komagata Maru with Sikh immigrants to the recent Tamil refugees, the roots of migrations are linked to colonial and post-colonial trajectories. It's an interesting journey and trajectory moving from one colony to another, but in terms of positionality, moving from the state of being colonized to being a settler here in Canada. Over the past century, South Asian Canadians have contributed heavily and widely to the economy, politics, and culture, the complex mosaic that is Canada. South Asians are one of the largest immigrant communities across Canada's metropolitan centres, including Toronto, Montreal, and Vancouver. The recent 2021 census reports, uh, reports that there are more than 2.6 million South Asians in Canada. These histories, however, are shadowed by the specters of colonialism, racism, and ongoing epistemic bias in knowledge creation and access. The mainstream historiography of Canadian settlers and immigration histories have often silenced or erased or neglected the South Asian Canadian stories. These journeys, the histories of the journeys and the settlements, the social histories of South Asians in Canada are unique, complex, and diverse, and in great need of being preserved. At the South Asian Canadian Digital Archive, we seek to fill those historical gaps in the Canadian record. We currently have 30 plus collections with over 15,000 items and 20 and more partner organizations across Canada. We are hoping to add 75 collections to the archive within the next year or so. We know that the way in which we do this matters, and there are three key parts of our process that I would like to highlight today. First, we aim to create knowledge infrastructures that reflect the plurality of knowledge systems. We build multilingual collections and we take an innovative and collaborative approach to metadata creation. Metadata is a key part of the knowledge infrastructure of an archive. SACTA follows rules of archival description and Library of Congress subject headings. And yet in many cases, 
appropriate terms to classify and describe the content of the South Asian Canadian material are absent in conventional controlled vocabularies. To address these gaps as part of the knowledge infrastructure recreation process, SACTA is building a local thesaurus to describe the complexities of South Asian Canadian histories and heritage. Secondly, community engagement is a central part of our process. We actively involve individuals, families, and community organizations in the creation of descriptions, classifications, and the arrangement of the records. Our engagement and feedback processes enable us to create accurate, thorough metadata, which gives community members a say in how they themselves are being represented. We also host community metadata creation workshops with source communities, including elders to consult and involve them in the knowledge creation process. Third, we provide open access to the archive SACTA uses collective access and open source collection management system to host its repository and digital materials. Open source software allows greater customization, offers greater control over our own data, and allows us to present digitized materials openly and freely for our users. Access is essential to the work we do at SACTA. It is what allows us to present and host alternative knowledge and knowledge infrastructures, open accessibility, allows for us to have our histories known, our legacies celebrated, and our voices heard. Thank you.